Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. Hey, I've got some news before we get into it. We have a new sponsor for the trade period and draft period, Big Betting Australia. I've also got a brand new deal for you as well. So 15% off at the checkout, no minimum spend, free shipping. Just use the code Blue Abroad and you're set. So check out the website. In this video, I just want to ask the question, that's all. I want to ask the question, can we get Sam De Koning? Can we have him? Should we get Sam De Koning? I haven't really been too excited around many of the rumors that I've seen in this off season. And I have had Sam De Koning in the back of my mind for a couple of weeks now, but it's just such a far-fetched thought until it's not. And again, I could be getting completely sucked in to silly season. And I probably am. But when I hear the Houston talk, and then I see that Sam DeConing was not named to play in the preliminary final, it may just be because he's not fully fit. But when I put these little dots together, I just think, why would you go after Houston? I mean, I, I get why you would go after Houston. He has the attributes that we need. But what if the Cats win the flag? Even if they don't win the flag, we've clearly told Lewis Young that he is able to look elsewhere. We've gotten rid of Marchbank. It looks like Nick Haynes will come to the club. But we still don't have that other key defender that we can rely on to pair up with Weedering. We haven't got that just yet. We thought we did with Lewis Young in 2022. 2023, that fell away. And 2024, that didn't really return. There was a bit of a pulse at the very end, but I don't know if that's enough to be confident with moving forward. McGovern's not really the one-on-one -on -one guy that we... I don't think we hope he would be, but he's just not that one-on-one -on -one guy. And now there's talks about him moving forward. And it just leaves like Sam De Koning. And I've always felt that there's something bubbling under the surface here. And wouldn't it just make sense? So the first question is, you know, do you go after him? Would you, are you interested? I think we'd all be interested in Sam De Koning. So the question is, what's he worth? We have pick 11-ish. We have a couple of players who we've obviously told to look elsewhere if they're not happy with the role that they are currently playing at the Carlton Football Club. So is it fair and reasonable to ask the question of Sam DeConing for pick 11 and one of these players or pick 11 and a future second? What would the Cats ask for him? Would they ask for, well, clearly a first round pick at the bare minimum. Let's just put mayonnaise on it and say two first round picks. Would you pay pick 11 and a future first for Sam DeConing? Better yet, would you pay pick 11 and a player? If you're a Geelong fan watching this, please, can I can I have a Geelong perspective? What is a fair and reasonable price for Sam De Koning in your view? He's not playing in the prelim. He wasn't named. Again, I might be missing some context here. He might be injured or he might just not be fit. And it, you know, they don't want to take a risk with him because he's such a valuable commodity but what is a fair and reasonable price here and it's a little bit unfair to ask because the cats are currently in the mix they're playing their season's alive i'm out here with my wig on and you know my makeup on like i'm in clown season silly season it sucks i really wish i was doing a preview for a prelim this week but you know what it is what it is so do we do it do we not do it i also want to touch on an article that was written by kane corns uh, and in this article, he's basically made the the plea with Carlton to go after De Koning. So we're talking about a 23-year-old, 204-centimeter defender, pick 19 in his draft, 62 games, premiership player, could be a two-time premiership player. He's given everything he needs to to the Geelong Football Club, potentially, if they win another one. He's had a breakout season, I would say, in 2022. Finished second to Nick Dacos in the AFL Rising Star Award. And you could make the case that he might have even been eligible for All-Australian selection. 
But because he was so young, they usually go with the players that have already got the runs on the board. He's got all the tools that we need to pair with Jacob Wiedering. So am I getting too excited or is there merit in this story? Let me know what you think. And let me know from the Carlton side of things, what would you be willing to give up for Sam DeConing? Chat to you in the comments. Yeah.